Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here and welcome to my channel. Hey guys, today we are going to do a little traveling and we are going abroad and we are going to go through Trouvalese and our destination is inside this box. I have not opened it up. I do want to tell you guys this box is hmm, I think seven weeks late. For some reason, the Irving facility that facilitates packages from Pitney Bowes have been having issues, and this was one of two boxes that shipped out August 6th from Irving, Texas, which is actually about 65 miles from me. Left out on August 6th, this package did, and I had a Fat Fit Fun that left out on August 8th, the same week. Neither one of those packages have ever made it to me. So I had to contact Tina, and Tina has Truvalis. And I told her I never got my box, and I really didn't even contact her, I guess, for a few weeks because I, you know, was giving it a chance to be here, and I kind of got behind and forgot that it was coming actually. So I may have been able to get this sooner had I contacted her sooner. But she worked diligently to get me a box and she even contacted the facility and they were trying to track because a lot of different boxes were having trouble. But in no event they couldn't find it so they had to reship it and when they shipped it to me again, they FedExed it to me from Canada. This comes out of Canada and because I had been so delayed, she rushed it right out. And I appreciate that, Tina. Thank you very much. And I will tell you that uh, also, Tina has given me a Trubilees discount for you guys. It is 10% on your first box and it is Miss Jackie 10. So if you're interested in traveling across the international waters and seeing the taste and sights of different countries, then you may be interested in this. Now you cannot get this box. This box is going to be Egypt. And I, some of you may have already seen it. I'm so late in getting it out. But the next box is Korea. And she did tell me that if you order within the next week or so, you may have an opportunity. They are getting low and about to sell out. So if Korea is something that you would be interested in, I would definitely sign up and get on board. It runs about 30, right now, US dollars, it's 37.65. In my description, I will put what's current. And if you do a year, if you're a globe trotter like me, your box would be like 34.63. So you do have a discount if you, you know, sign up for a whole year. It's every other month, so it's bi-monthly. And we will be seeing the next box pretty quickly here, you know, provided that it gets out on time. But let's pop in here and find out what the True Valise has for us as far as Egypt. Okay, we have our little postcard right on top there. And she's got it wrapped up for us. And it says Egypt. And it looks like we have the pyramids. From the soaring pyramids to its cosmopolitan cities, Egypt has long been a place of eternal mystery fascinating visitors for centuries. We've explored its cuisine and its handcrafts for this box, sure to thrill all your senses. And anyways, that is our Egypt postcard. And we do get a postcard with each box. And there's usually six to seven different items in here. And while we're on the subject of Egypt, I want y'all to know I have one of my sweet little multi poos named Chloe that lives in Egypt. Yeah, in Cairo. She is the little girl, so to speak, of some, I guess, diplomats uh, for the United States over there. And they got her for me and they took her over to Egypt. And she recently went to Paris. When they went on vacation, so she's a little traveling multi poo. That goes all around the world. <laughs> but, anyways, right here we have our package for a sneak peek. And we'll pop in here. It says, Share your unboxings with Trubilees on Facebook. So they do have an account if you want to go on Facebook and kind of get spoilers on it. You can certainly do that. 
Oh my goodness, guys. I just got to show y'all again. Look at my box. Ooh, that was another sneak peek. I love that bright orange, don't you? It's Egypt and it's True Belize. And it says, Welcome to Egypt. The fascinations of Egypt extend across centuries and continents, from the northern deserts of Africa to southwestern tip of Asia, across Sinai Peninsula, with a historical record stretching back to the 6th century BC. It's also one of the oldest countries on the planet, but Egypt's eye-popping monuments, including the Sphinx and the pyramids, coexist alongside cosmopolitan capitals of Cairo, yep, and Alexandria, true treasures for any traveler. Oh, this sounds so exciting. I can't wait to get into this box. You know, it tells us different things about the cities. Can't even pronounce some of these things. It says Sharma Aleka. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a dreamscape beach resort. Sharm El Shakha Azure Waters features eye-popping corals, friendly fish, epic shipwrecks, guaranteeing an unforgettable experience under the sea. Perfect for lazing on the beach and active water sports alike. So yeah, it tells us different things. There's some modern art, of course, over 10,000 works by the country's leading 20th century artisans in Cairo's Sazira Center for Modern Art. So different areas of the country. Then we also have Valley of the Kings, UNESCO World Heritage, Site matched by few others, the Valley of the Kings houses over 60 tombs, including the must-see final resting place of, I guess it would be King Tut maybe, but it's Tut Akamham. I don't know, I'm killing it. But anyways, it does show you some of that information. And then we're going to pop in here and see what we have. Now, I don't know if they give us an item by item. They may. I'm trying to see if they do. They got lots of different treasures in here, and I don't know what to pull out. I see something called the Mother of Pearl decorative box, and that is going to be this right here. And so let's find out about this. Handcrafted by Egyptian artisans using the same age-old techniques for over a thousand years, these Mother of Pearl boxes lined with velvet are many chests perfect to house your heirlooms. Their complex patterns take days to complete. Each is a unique treasure of its own. And we do not get like prices or anything, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And look at the intricate detail on there. And you can see the mother of pearl on the corners and inside the intricate parts of this. Oh, I love that. What a nice little treasure box. You know, you could hold your nice little jewelry or rings or something in there. Very nice. Our next item that I'm pulling out of here is our little snack. Ooh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it says Abu Abu Afamul Meta Jewel Dates. Oh my gosh. All right, these are Egyptian snacks. They have been devouring the Mamalul cookies all the way back to the Pharaonic era. So in love with their sweet date filling, they even adorn temple carvings and paintings with their likeness. Once you try them, you'll know that you've stayed in flavor for so long too. Well, that's very interesting. And they sent me four packages of these. So yeah, four of them. So I can't wait to try those out. It's a date. You know, dates are pretty healthy for you. I may have to try one of these before we go off air here. The next item that I'm pulling out of here is a garab bead. It's in this little bag. It's ancient Egyptians believe, I don't know how to pronounce this, Capri, a scarab headed figure. So I guess we can kind of see that there's a head on there. It's flat on this side with like some Egyptian, almost matches my nails, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, it says that scarabbed headed figure renewed the sun each and every day. Since then, scarabs are found throughout Egyptian hieroglyphics and statuary, a symbol of rebirth and resurrection. They're often found on necklaces and bracelets, a perfect setting 
for this box handmade scrub bead string it along with a cord or a chain of your choice and then of course you can see it's got a hole through there so you could put it on any little chain that you have I'm gonna put it in a little mother of pearl chest here and just set it right down in there very nice now let's see what else I get out of here I think this may be the belly dance hip scarf. Yep, cool. Isn't that cool? Wow, beautiful. Oh, I love this. This will make a nice little decoration too. But how cool is this? Oh my goodness. Let's find out about it. It says, few accessories say Egypt quite like a traditional belly dance hip scarf, used both to educate and enhance movement of the hips. These brightly toned, I don't know how to pronounce it, accoutrements, can also be worn to add a splash of unique flair to any outfit. Well, I think it even could be used for a unique flair of decoration. That is really cool. Okay, guys, let's see what else we have here. I am pulling out of here a Paris bookmark. Oh, wow, isn't that cool? Invented by the Egyptians in approximately 3000 BC, Paris is made from the water plant of the same name, which was harvested from the marshy deltas of the River Nile. Mark your place in the latest read with this piece of ingenious antiquity. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm going to leave it inside this little plastic cover. Maybe you're supposed to. I don't know, but I can tell that it's Paris. You can feel it. I can take it out of there. Ooh, that feels so cool. I know y'all can't tell, but see how it's got the ridges of the Paris paper? Oh yeah, this is very, very unique and antique like and I'm for sure going to leave it in this little sleeve for protection. Very nice. Oh, I'm loving this box, aren't you guys? Now I've got something wrapped up here, and I'm going to see if I can find out what this is. I think this is the blown glass bottle, because it's wrapped up very protectively. And let's see if I can get it undone here. This says it's a hand-etched, hand-painted, and clean-fired by Egyptian glass-blowing artisans. This is so cool. I mean, these are things that I would never see in a thousand years because what's my chances of going to Egypt? I mean, Chloe, my little multi-poo, got to go. But I didn't get to go. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is all hand-blown. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. It says these bottles made of pure Pyrex glass are one of a kind masterpieces created using the same methods developed in the early 19th century. Egyptian glass is equally suited for holding scented oils or as purely as a decorative touch. Ooh, and I love essential oils, and I could see where you could drop that down in there, and you could even pull this out and tap that on you with your essential oils. This is beautiful. I don't know if it'll fit in my little treasure box. I definitely don't want this to break, guys. It's not going to fit inside there. This is going to be something that I'm going to have to really put somewhere nice and safe. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, guys, I see a couple more things in here. They've just really loaded this box down. This is Nas Cafe Arabic Coffee Instant Mix with cardamom. So it's got cardamom in it. It is an instant mix. And it's coffee, so you can mix it right up. It says, known as a, a woo in Egypt, coffee is an important symbol of hospitality and generosity. Spiced with cardamom, this traditional national favorite is served unsweetened, consumed instead with accompanying sweet treats and dates. We'd suggest trying it with this box treats for the genuine Egypt's cafe experience. Well, that makes sense. 
and I've got several of these to try it with so that sounds wonderful sounds delicious I've never had this type of coffee so I look forward to trying that I've got two of those I think and then I believe we have one more item in here and it's called the Vesbasa dessert mix and it is in this box here oh my goodness you know what I think I've eaten these before but I didn't know what they were so it's Vesbasa with nuts and it is a mix and it says this baked so Molina dessert soaked in syrup is so beloved by Egyptians that Vesbasa is also a popular pet name meaning simply my sweet and please follow our instructions below as those on the box are slightly lost on translation. So they have very well put our instructions on here so that we could understand it in English. And you can see why, because I would never be able to read all of that. That just looks like, I guess, Egyptian to me, but it's definitely not something I could read. So that's very, very cool. It says a half cup of plain yogurt, a half a cup of unsalted butter, softened, one cup of sugar, one cup of water, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and one teaspoon of meringue. But anyways, that sounds very good. I may have to let Laura try that out. She's our little baker in the family. And maybe she can whip those up for us for a special treat, maybe over Thanksgiving or Christmas when they're here. We'll have to let you know how they work. Okay, guys, that is everything in my Egyptian box. I am so, so thankful that Tina was able to get me a box since mine got lost. And, of course, we don't really know what happened to it. And so many things have been getting lost or damaged here lately. And you never know, those shipments that went out on August 6th and 8th, they could have all been on the same truck. There could have been an accident and everything got destroyed. I mean, we don't know. We just know we didn't get it. But anyways, in this box that we finally got, I have our Basbosa dessert mix. Yay, sounds delicious, doesn't it? We got our Nesty Coffees, which has the Carmadon in it. We got these delicious sweet treats that are made out of dates. And I might as well do, ooh, taste of one. It just fell apart. I can tell you it's a shortbread cookie with a date in the center. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Very good. It kind of reminds me of a Fig Newton, but only better. Very, very tasty. And I can tell that that would be a very healthy snack, too. So, we got our little, however you say that, I'm just not going to try to pronounce it, but I've got four of these. Now I have three left. We got our beautiful little chest of the mother of pearl and inside I have my little bead that I can put on a chain or a string of my choice or keep it in my little treasure box that's got the velvet inside. I love that. We got our belly dance hipster, I guess, cover decoration and our scarf like to use either for an accessory or even for decorations around Halloween time. That's orange, wow. And then we got this beautiful hand-blown Egyptian glass bottle that can keep your essential oils in there. And it even has the applicator, like I said, to put on. I just love that. And then, of course, we got our Pyrus bookmark. And that is very unique. And we got our Egyptian postcard. So this box was just packed. What is your favorite item? I like it all, okay? But my favorite item is gonna have to be this chest and this blown Egyptian bottle. I love these two items. They're so unique and they're so Egyptian and wow i mean the whole box they just really blew it out of the park if you have not subscribed to true valise and you are wanting to find hand-picked items from countries that you may never get to see but you want to experience i would highly recommend true valise and you can use my discount miss jackie 10 and save 10 percent 
on your first box or your first subscription. I'm not sure exactly which way it'll go for you, but you can definitely use it and get the next box. The next box coming is Korea. But again, she did tell me that it is selling out fast and I don't know how long it will be available. It will be shipping out soon because this box is seven weeks late. So my anticipation is I should be getting my Korea box probably the first or second week in October, which is coming right around the corner. So again, if you're interested, be sure and check it out. I love my box. Thank you very much for getting it to me. I'm so glad that you had an extra one to send out to me. And it is just, it's beautiful. And I just love everything in it. Now guys, be sure and check my descriptions for any current giveaways and our battles or collaborations that are going on. I will be having several coming up too. So keep a lookout for that. As for today and true beliefs, that's all I have. And as usual, I wish you all a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.